crisis grows. Tar balls have washed up on the shore there. You saw one threatening wildlife and the entire ecosystem there. Joining me now, Phaedra Ellis Lampkins, the CEO for Green for All. Phaedra, good to have you here. Uh, so you heard the executives there not really taking much responsibility for what's happened here. Uh, do you think that's going to make a difference in the cleanup? And uh, how do you react to that when you hear them? You know, I think that we all have a responsibility and the three things at Green For All that we're looking at is first, that BP has to pay for its cleanup. I think we've seen the shifting of the blame. You know, it was almost like watching a bad uh, Three Stooges episode of watching each person point at one another. And what we're gonna have to do as a country is say, first, you have to pay back for all the destruction you've caused. But we think it's more than that. It's not just paying for what the damage that's been done, but it's looking at BP used to do operations in the United States. Uh, it just shut down its plant in uh, Maryland and in other places in March of this year. While posti posting the most amount of profit this year, it mm -hmm. shut down its operations in the United States. Mm -hmm. We think it's time for BP to not just clean up its mess, but to recommit to the American worker, recommit to the people living in Louisiana, and actually replace bad jobs with good jobs. L let me ask you about the environmental impact. We were just seeing mm -hmm. as you were speaking there some shots not only of the mess in the water, but also starting to see some of those pictures pictures of the wildlife coated in the oil, reminders of Exxon Valdez, and we've heard reports that this could be as bad ultimately. How concerned are you about how bad this will get for the environment? It, it actually, we think, will be worse than Exxon Valdez. In fact, we think that when we look at the numbers, what was significant about yesterday is that the uh, executives actually said, in fact, the numbers were far worse on the amount of oil. Uh, millions of gallons per day are actually being put back into the ocean. What's important is not just the animals that will be impacted, the long-term impact to the ocean, but those whose lives depend on the environment, the fishermen who now are out of work, the tour operators who are suffering. This is something that is not just important for the environment that will shift the resource of this country, mm -hmm. but also for the people that inhabit it. Yeah, a and what is your organization, what do you think in terms of the drilling right now? We've heard some folks coming out in the early days and saying all of the drilling should stop until we know exactly exactly what happened here. You know, certainly we think there should be a stop on drilling because the fundamental problem is we don't know how to stop it when it leaks. When you look at what's happened across the country, that's, that's what we can now say is we don't know how to fix this problem. And so if BP is the best, we're in trouble. And so we would suggest that there be no additional expansion, that there be a moratorium until we know how to stop leaks. Phaedra Ellis Lampkins, thanks for joining us and bringing us your perspective today. Thank you for having me. Well, it's been nearly four decades since Dick